Hey Aries, welcome to my channel and thank you for being here and for tuning in. I'm Valencia with Val 333 Tarot and with Spirit and we're just going to jump right in here and see uh, what does Spirit want to tell you the most today in regards to your current situation. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and the North Node. Hold on, sorry Aries, I forgot. It's right down your thing here. There we go. But this is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and the North Nose. Of course, it's not going to resonate with all of you. But for more readings after this, please go ahead and check out my husband's tarot channel at Possessed777. And I do offer same-day personal readings for $20. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. All right. Thank you. So, yeah, and you know, right away, I, I'm going to write this down for you just in case I use this for your title because um, immediately I, I saw it based on what's here on the cards, but also I, I heard immediately like you tried to be nice. You tried your hardest to be nice. Like the whole time you tried to keep your cool with whomever this is and whatever's going on, because I do see someone here, you tried your hardest to be nice. And unfortunately, it had to get ugly. And you had to stand up for yourself and do what you needed to do and move on and move forward in the situation. Okay, so overall, there is, and I feel like there was someone here that was trying to install fear tactics on you, like, oh, you'll never leave, you'll never leave me. Yeah, right, who wants you? You know, that kind of stuff. And, and for some of you, this could be someone that you may have recently divorced, or it could be an ex, it could just be a, a friend, like, I don't know who this is. Some of you, I do get, this could be, like, really, just uh, parental figures, like, your, it's your parents that will never change. They will just never change in life. And so, you've tried your hardest. After a while, it's like, you can't take it anymore. You're not going to be someone's punching bag, you're not going to let them use you, especially financially. And so that's what I see here, okay, is that overall it's like they had no passion with you. They didn't want to create new beautiful beginnings with you. There's this energy of this, them being so aggro, but then so heartbroken and so bothered and feeling betrayed, but not healing, not letting go, not getting over the situation, not getting over you, not leaving you alone. And you got to the point overall here where you're like, I'm not scared anymore. I don't even care. It's kind of like you're like, I'd rather live in a shack than live with you. You know, like I'd rather just go do my own thing than deal with you. And so that's what I see here. And it, the minute you set yourself free, the minute you move forward, moved out, you know, relocated, whatever it is, this is when they show their true colors of who they really are, which is financially extremely greedy. 
materialistically greedy, wanting to use you, never wanting to put in the work and the effort to help either. It starts out with, you know, they're very unstable mentally, physically, financially, and emotionally here. So clearly a lot was going on for them in a way where it's, you know, it's kind of like you tried to help them out. If they lost their house or they get kicked out, that was on them, right? And so, I mean, it's harsh, right? No one wants anyone to be homeless and everything, but it's like at the same time, if you tried your hardest to help them out and then they just treat you like crap, it's like after a while, even you know, you're just gonna get up and not put up with it and be done. And so it looks like they're just sitting there really pissy at home, emotional, moody, mad at you, blaming you. And you reflected on a lot of this. You were just hanging out the whole time. You actually kept your cool. And it got to a point where you decided, you know what, I'm over, I'm over this, I'm done with this, I'm not gonna take this anymore, I'm not gonna take this crap. And you defended yourself and guarded yourself and protected yourself against this person. And so that has caused you to realize all the time, all the arguments, all the fights, all the battles, all the arguments that you went through with this person, you realize there's nothing to get angry about anymore because you realize who you were, you realize why they treated you the way they did. It's based on who you are, your position, how you carry yourself, maybe a job, um, the fact that you just get up and do things, right? Um, leadership skills, you just take accountability and responsibility for yourself, your life and what you do. And so based on that here, you ended up considering your options financially of what to do in your investments. And the minute you did that, it looks like that's what got them so irritated, so aggressive and probably feeling threatened. They probably knew you were gonna end up leaving them in the first place anyway, okay? Especially when you started counting your money, right? And like figuring out what to do. Um, and so I see here that that's exactly what happened. And then they show their greed. They show, well, I hate you. I don't even like you anyway. I don't care for you. And you know, that kind of energy here. And so they get fixated, they get obsessive. They don't wanna be peaceful in the situation. Then they show that they're just, they won't work. They're not gonna do anything at all, but then they're gonna still try to find a way to take money from you or blame you. And then it shows how miserable and unhappy they are. Now, for some of you, they could be, um, you know, married to someone else, but you know them, you're connected to them. That's why I said for some of you, it could be your parental figures. Others of you, it's just someone, you know, close to you. It could be an ex, you know, whatever it may be here. That's when you served justice on them. It's like the minute they chose to be greedy, the minute you saw that they weren't going to do anything with themselves and change their life at all, and everything that they complained about, they just, they don't find a solution to, that's when you decided to step in and be like, well, then here's the papers, right? Um, right after that, they still chose to, you know, be greedy and try to be unequal with you and take from you. And that's when you literally got in the car and got the hell out. You hopped on a plane, you hopped on a train, you said, fuck it, I'm gone then. And now you leave them literally destitute and homeless or whatever. But like I said, it's not your fault. You tried to help them. And that's what I got for you here. You could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Thank you. Bye.